Hello, I'm Erwin Tiro, Pressure Alchemist, and welcome to the tutorial on how to connect BTS Pog to TTS Monster. The connector, the connection is quite simple and quick, so let's, let's get over it right away. First of all, we're going to go to our dashboard. We need to go click here. You may be prompted on TTS Monster to link your Twitch or YouTube account. Is this if you are logged out or is your first time logging in? If so, just allow the permits and you will get directed to the dashboard. Here, there's only one thing that we need for the basic part of the connection, which is the overlay URL. There's a couple of more things we care about here, but we are going to go over those in a bit. Then on test on BTS blog, we're going to go to test to speech settings and we're going to select in select TTS, TTS monster. This is going to be our TTS of, of choice. And we're going to paste in overlay URL, our overlay URL. Um, always remember, don't share it with, uh, with everyone because this will affect how much you are charged and your um, limits per month. Uh, you can check the plans for TTS Monster, uh, different plans uh, from the free to the various premium ones on their page. Um, with that setup, TTS Monster is already connected to BTS Pod and it's ready to work. You don't need to add the, over the overlay to OBS and I highly recommend not doing that to prevent uh, doubling the events. Pog Online Poggers. There we go. They are with here. Uh, Brian's voice, which is the free and default voice for TTS Monster. Remember that TTS Monster uh, has limits um, for the amount of AI voices you use per month. Um, so when the you don't want to use the um, uh, your your limits and you want to still have TTS, you can always use Brian's voice for most of the normal TTSs and then use the AI voices for special stuff. Up to you guys, but always remember: if you run out of credits, TTS Monster is going to, by default, use Brian's voice. Here in BTS Pog, you can go to default voice and set up a voice um, to use as a default instead of Brian. All TTSs are going to be using um, that voice from now on, um, and you can pick any of the voices you have enabled on your dashboard on TTS Monster. So for example, I put Obama there, I'm going to go play test. Let's take a couple of seconds. Pog Online Poggers. There we go. Mr. President there is talking to us now. Um, always remember that TT, uh, any AI voice is going to take longer to generate than uh, the Brian voice, which is the normal non-AI one. So yeah, keep in mind, some of the voices take longer um, than others to generate the, um, the final audio. So always be patient. Um, so let's go to the, the TTS Monster dashboard now and let's go over the different options that may be relevant or not relevant for BTS Pog. Um, first of all, most of the time you want to have keep all of these disabled if you want any of these events to be managed by BTS Pog. Keep in mind that as the recording of the video, TTS Motor doesn't uh, have a connection from the station to BTS Pog. So uh, any, if you want to keep this enabled, you can uh, leave it. Uh, but all the TTS generated by the um, extension uh, the Twitch extension of uh, TTS Monster are not going to be triggered uh, on BTS Pog. They are not going to be read by your pet, so keep in mind. Anything you have enabled here, they are going to be managed by the TTS Monster overlay that you need to add to your OBS if you want to use them, but none of these events are going to be um, relevant to BTS Pog. If you have this enabled and this triggers a TTS, it's going to be independent of any TTS that BTS Pog is going to play or generate. Or remember that you want you want the events to be uh, managed by BTS Pog, you need to either configure them in BTS Pog or configure them through Mixitab or Streamerbot or similar programs that have options to connect to BTS Pog. You can find tutorials on how to do that over uh, on our different BTS Pog tutorial playlist or ask on our Discord server if there's one that isn't featured in this channel or on the docs. Then, apart from the, this, uh, you can check your plan here, of course, and here we can check the voices. 
voices are important because your default voice and any voice that your chat may uh, could be able to like use when they make a redeem um, needs to be enabled in this list here. I have them all enabled because I don't have issues with any of them. I forgot to enable Obi Wan. There we go. We added one there, and but it's up to personal taste. It's up to your community. It's up to like what you want your pet in particular to look and be able to say and do. I know a lot of like users that only enable one voice for their pet because they want want their pet to be just a specific only entity, but uh, an, an identity. But depends on each person. So keep that in mind. But yeah. Voices need to be enabled here in order to BTS pod, for BTS pod to be able to use them. Most of these voices can be uh, used as your default pet voice on BTS pod, just as I said Obama before, but some of them are not able to be used. BTS pod will inform you if you try, but 99% of the voices are uh, available to be used as your default pet voice. There's also the sound bites. Sound bites are used uh, by your um, by your users when they do the, the redeem. They can put them in between parentheses to like trigger a specific sound bite. You can check more about that in the TTS Monster uh, docs. But yeah, you need to have them enabled for your chat to be able to use them. So I'm going to add the few that have been added since the last time I've been in my panel. So I'm going to add the last couple that I don't have. Enable at the moment. There we go. Clicking save, and now I have all the sound bites enabled. Um, apart from that, that's it. There's a few other options in BTS Pog that may be relevant for you and your setup. You can have a uh, um, an options to uh, uh, allow uh, TTS monster voices to be used in our or random all TTS uh, redeem that we provide at the moment. Uh, we are going to span up on this on the future, but yeah, you can add what voices you want to be featured in that. I will most of the voices here because I don't mind, but yeah, your mileage may vary. You can have also um, enable uh, when do you want uh, the um, uh, AI voices to be used by subbed uh, events. I have it so like any sub slash resub will be using the AI voices by default, but mileage can vary for you. Also, the minimum amount of bits if you want to uh, use bits with TTS monster when it's your default um, TTS voice. Um, you can enable or disable the AI voices for commands. These are, this refers to chat commands. Um, so if you have chat commands enabled and you want to allow users that are whitelisted slash enabled to use your commands to use the um, AI voices options on TTS monster, you need to keep you need to enable this. In my case, I have my commands to be only be usable by me and my mods. So yeah, this is enabled in my case. And uh, same for AI for point redeems. Um, you can disable the AI for point redeems when TTS monster is um, your main um, TTS uh, selection. Also, you can make a specific redeem that's only available for TTS monster that will only use the AI voices. You can keep this disabled. Sorry, you can keep this enabled. So like it differentiates between the normal TTS um, redeem from the AI only uh, point redeem. This helps you so that you can make sure your normal TTS will only use Brian and the AI only point redeem will only use the AI voices. It helps to like keep track of your or your um, rates in the TTS monster, your TTS monster plan. So yeah, keep this in mind, experiment, and uh, make sure to have fun. And that's it. Hopefully this was comprehensible enough and short enough. Around 10 minutes, I will create a win. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye bye.